HP with a U. It's your girl Kaya, aka Kaya Raya. And today, as you can see by the title, we're doing another vlog. I know a lot of y'all say y'all always like our vlogs. So we just gonna try to keep doing them and try to keep them up. Um, right now, we are currently at Walmart. And Hello, here guys. Phil. He getting Ari out the car, uh, put in her seat. But we are at Walmart. We're gonna get some things for the house, get some things for her baby food, finally and uh, some things for a challenge so keep watching watch to the end tune in get you some popcorn some snacks kick your feet up enjoy, enjoy nice. the show <laughs> in walmart all right y'all so we are in walmart and i'm kind of sad because they don't have any bananas and that's the main thing that she likes that I make our baby food with, so it, it just sucks, right? So we're gonna have to end up going to Kroger tomorrow. Um, like we told y'all in the last vlog, we're having some problems with our car, so hopefully we will be able to get a rental through um, the Max Care on our car and wait for them to fix it so we can get to the store. Kroger is a little bit further. I mean, it's up. Huh, it's really up the street but the car it just does too much so it's hard to get there so right now we are currently getting some dove i use the dove um bar soap um sometimes and then i wash over that with my body wash i'm extra but it's okay being pregnant makes you kind of extra but anyways we're about to pick her up some more baby food until we can get to Kroger. Hello everybody, how y'all doing? <laughs> and as you can hear, I'm already um, kind of breathing in between every word. So, <laughs> I'm gonna let Phil take over for real this time. All right, say hi. <laughs> She's very upset, she doesn't like being in her seat. But Oh well. Bay's gonna take over once we get to the baby section. All right, you guys. So I had to push Ari around because she dropped her pacifier earlier. So the only way to get her to stop crying most of the time is just to push her around. Um, currently in the dog section. I went to the wrong aisle. But we're currently in the dog section, so I can get uh, our dog some um, some food. Uh. Yeah, most of the time this Walmart don't be having food. I guess everybody getting a puppy nowadays, which I don't like, but hey. So it kind of be messing him up because I be having to get him like a different food every single time. Sometimes I got to get him the can. Sometimes I can get him his little pouches that he likes. He be turning the pouches up. But guess what? They got the pouches today. So we're going to get him two boxes of those. Or should I get three? I'm going to get two two boxes of those so it should last me a while and now we're just gonna go join mom back over there in the food for ari um but yeah i got sidetracked because ari was acting a fool but give us a little life update man tell us how y'all been doing tell us what's going on with your life the good the bad you know we want to know it all um you know we've been doing good other them little problems we've been having going on but for the most part you know we can't complain man we bless god keep blessing us with you know everything that we have keeps waking us up so can't really complain um the apparel business you know it's having shipping problems but now <laughs> shipping problems be gone so you know go shop that and you know get you some merch so now it shouldn't take you that long to get your stuff. 
should take like maybe one or two weeks tops. That's for the order to get processed and for everything to be made and to get to you at the same time. So, hey, make sure y'all go shop, man. But we're gonna get back to y'all. Well, not now. I don't know why she's acting like this. She's acting crazy. She think every time she sees some food or something, she's supposed to eat it like right then and there before you pay for it. She'd be hungry. Now, like. Sometimes if she haven't had her snack and we gotta run to get something, we'll open it and yeah. pay for it. But right ate. now she just ate. Yeah, she just ate, like literally. Shut up. Big bowl of applesauce, everything. And she be tripping, man. She be tripping, man. She be tripping, man. All right, guys. So we're on the hunt for a diaper bag for for baby Perry. We don't know his name yet. We keep we're gonna see what he looks like when he comes out for the name. So right now we just call him Baby P or Baby Perry or Junior. Because either way, even if he's not a Junior, he's still gonna be my Junior. Mm. Yeah. I don't really know which one we want. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, this all they got. They got these stuff. Yeah. Even though they got some basic stuff, and we'll we'll get that for right now. But even but he's gonna get like a, a customized one um, later on. I don't know. We can get uh. I mean, we can get we can get this elephant one up there if you like it. If you don't like it, then we can we can try Target or something. Yeah, we could definitely try Target because this is just yeah. Walmart's not cutting it right now with the with the diaper bags. But yeah. All right, y'all. So I just want to show y'all a couple things because Phil don't never show y'all nothing. He just holds the camera and talk to y'all. They'll show y'all what we're looking at. So right now we are currently looking at baby blankets. Um, this time we kind of slacked on buying just because we thought a lot of people were going to buy off the registries like they did for our, but um, yeah, we like to wait and to see our options of what other people got us. But unfortunately, a lot of people didn't get us stuff this time, which is fine. I mean, it is our kid. I'm not complaining or anything. It is what it is, but we will put the registry links down below if you all want to buy us anything for the baby um we mostly need like pampers wipes the basic stuff anything is appreciated. yeah anything is appreciated anything is a blessing so yeah but Even yeah. The this is the baby bag we were looking at now i don't think we're gonna get it just because it's kind of small for 30 dollars but um we did see another one that we like on amazon so we might just get the one off amazon instead of getting one in store um right now we are looking at clothes he has quite a few things but um he still needs more like we said he should be coming early so we need to hurry up and get what we can she's still acting crazy <laughs> uh, uh, i was gonna get him this but that's not dad's colors I don't know why I messed with her, y'all. Because when I mess with her, then she thinks she's supposed to get up. But anyways, we're going to look at a couple things. Isn't it so cute? Um, Dad's pick my sister. We're going to look at a couple things. And then if we get something, we'll just show y'all um, at the house. All right, y'all. So just to update y'all, we got um just a few things. We got a new tripod. We're trying to invest in this YouTube stuff so y'all can get some good quality videos. Um, the tripod that we got right now, we just got it. And it's already like messing up. Like got it like two weeks ago or a week ago and it's already messed up. But I mean, it is what it is, y'all. Um, we're just gonna get a new one. And yeah. So um, the next thing we're gonna do is just look around and see if we need anything else. Like I said, we already got a few things. And of course, Ari is at her seat. Y'all see my baby with her turban on? She's about to get her hair washed tonight and I'm about to braid it. <laughs> Which she is going to hate. Comment down below if your daughter hates getting her hair done, y'all. I'll be having a time with her. Me and her be frustrated. Like, I swear. But, 
Anyways, like I said, she it on herself, like she'll look back while you trying to wash her hair, or like she'll look down and the water will go in her face if she hate water. Yeah, y'all, she makes it real hard for me. Like I, I don't understand why, but it is what it is. That's still my baby. Anyways, like I said, we just gonna see what other things we need, and then we'll see y'all in the car. All right, y'all. So we are in the car, and we are at Sonic. Of course, we love Sonic, but um. Check out the lighting though. Y'all see that? New tripod game. Period. Told y'all. New and better lighting. Just keep coming to us. Just keep coming. And this ain't even both lights. This thing got two lights on it. Two of them. This, this is just one. One of them. Comment down below how y'all like the lighting. Because it's hidden. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's hidden. Of course she's up here. Y'all already know. Being bad. Being busy. Y'all already know. Or look like a little drama. <laughs> Don't do her. <laughs> Bruh, I am like stunned about this light. Like, this is crazy. Maybe I'm just a little bit too white, but I don't care. They look good to me. You look good to me. Oh my gosh. Anyways, we are about to see what we want to eat. So, what we finna eat at? We'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so the light to the tripod is charging so that we can keep giving y'all that good lighting, period. But we just got our food, so we about to go home. Y'all about to hear Ari scream and cry because she don't want to get back in that seat, but it's okay. Anyways, I got a hot dog. It's, it's called an All-American Hot Dog. It got ketchup, mustard, relish, and onions. And then Phil, he just got some barbecue chicken bites or something. Yeah, honey barbecue chicken bites. And then I got a grape limeade. Mm, so good. Grapey. But we're about to go home and then we'll see y'all at the house. Alrighty, you guys. We finally made it back from uh, Walmart. I'm um, currently outside taking out the trash right now. Um, got a few things, nothing too much. Just some things that we needed. Um, yeah, nothing too much. Something a little slight. Art was acting up, so. We couldn't be in there as long as we wanted to, but that's okay. We'll be at Kroger tomorrow morning. Um, what else do I want to say? Sorry about the noise. You know, like I said, taking up the trash. Um, yeah, man, look at that. See what I got on. Store oily black from apparel. You know, make sure y'all go ahead and go ahead and shop that. Black History Month coming up. Uh, Martin Luther King birthday coming up, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a great way to show that you're in tune with it, um, show that you, you know, celebrate being black, love being black. I say, you know, go ahead, man. Go ahead and get you something, copy something. You can't go wrong trying to get something, you know what I mean? Um, these shirts are. $15, $15, and it comes with, you know, the black man, black girl on the front, the crowns on top, and then it comes with the definition of what it means to be royally black. Um, really, you got your own definition. Everybody has their own definition, but the overall definition is basically just being you, being proud, of being black, you know what I mean? But um, back in the house, I got a couple more things to take to the trash. So I'll get back to y'all when I'm finished. Hey y'all, so right now we are currently getting Ari ready for bed. Um, Dad is giving her a bath and washing her hair. I really feel bad when I can't do it. But um, listen, this pregnant mama is out of it. When I tell y'all like, I love my son and I'm so happy that he's healthy and I'm blessed to be carrying him um, and have gotten to carry him for all three of these trimesters. But baby, my body is feeling it. I highly recommend not having babies back to back because it takes a toll on your body. Okay, like I'm always tired. My body hurts. My back hurts. My pelvic area hurts. Everything just hurts. So, highly don't recommend. But, 
like I said, again, I am blessed. I love my son, and I can't wait to meet him. Hold on, y'all, because I don't know what that noise is. All right, y'all, so I found out what the noise was. It was actually the game. Um, Phil was on the game before um, he started Ari's bath. He was playing with his siblings, but anyways, y'all had to sit down because my son, I don't know what he's doing right now, but my pelvic area hurts so bad. Um, it hurts to walk um, sometimes. Um, so, yeah, but that's why I'm sitting down. Anyways, um, I'm here actually to also ask for any other um, pregnant mamas or mamas that's been pregnant with boys. Um, do y'all experience the same things like the pelvic pain, the back pain, um, hard to sleep, tired all the time, want to nap all the time? Please let me know if y'all feeling the same way because I know it's not just me. I know it can't just be me, okay? It's no way. It's just me. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Like we said, we just ask for continuous prayers for the rest of this um, pregnancy journey. Um, praying for a safe delivery, safe um, delivery on both ends, on my end, on his end. Um, for both of us to be as healthy as we can be. Um yeah, so just keep praying for us. Keep us in your prayers. Pray that everything is good. Again, with my sugar. Because the doctor said he wants to check on that to make sure that's not why the baby is so big. Um, again, we go to the doctor Tuesday. So, by the time y'all see the video, it should be Friday. Yeah, it should be our Friday video. So, yeah. Um three days until the doctor is that three days yeah saturday sunday monday no tuesday so yeah four days actually till the doctor um while we're in there i'm gonna try to get phil to record the ultrasound um while we're getting the ultrasound done and like the heartbeat and all that good stuff um i know y'all are interested in that and then i've got also questions about must-haves and stuff like that for the baby and for you all i can say is make sure um you have that hospital backpack by the door okay by the time you're 30 weeks really try to do it as early as you can don't be like me and phil because we waited till the last minute to pack uh, we haven't packed for us or the baby yet which is ridiculous, right? And the baby's measuring two weeks ahead. Um, but it's okay. We're we going to get it together in the name of Jesus. We're going to get it together. We are. Uh, we still have a little bit of things to do, really. Um, we just have to wait for the bag to come. We're ordering that. Um, and we need to get, like, pampers and wipes. But we have some family members that are on my side that um, said they were going to buy a couple of things. So we're just waiting to see um what they're gonna get um but we're still gonna get our own things just because like if he comes early we can't depend on what somebody else gonna get especially because it's our kid it's not anybody else's kid or anybody else's responsibility to buy stuff so yeah y'all all i can say is yeah i had a hospital bag ready you don't really need a lot of pampers and wipes they give you that at the doctor at the hospital well, not the doctor, sorry, y'all. Yeah, the hospital um, in the mom and baby ward. Um, Yeah, they gave me, I know, when I was um, having R and we were about to go home, they gave me a bag full of Huggies, Pampers, um, what was it? Postpartum underwear, postpartum, um, what was those things? Cooling packs for your um, vaginal area. Um, they gave me Dermaplast, Witch Hazel Pads. Um, what else did they give me, y'all? I'm trying to think. They gave me pads. Um, they gave me the hospital bed pads, I guess, that they put under you, like, while you're bleeding and stuff and leaking from your water breaking. So, yeah, y'all. I don't know if every hospital does that, but um, I know the one that I had already at, which I had her at St. Francis, was the best Shout out to my nurse, Rebecca. She did all of my, um, basically my labor. Like the doctor came in at the last minute and took the baby out. Like, what you getting paid for, sis? 
the nurse did everything. I was like, she deserves her check because they had to rush and get the doctor. The doctor was asleep. But that's a, that's a story for another day, y'all. I'm going to do a story time on that. But yeah, hopefully the doctor that you have your baby at does the same thing. Um, hopefully the doctor that I have my son at does that this time. But um, yeah, I know I'm talking a lot. But I did have somebody, a couple people, ask me um, what was needed um for the baby and for you as the mother that's all i can really say um mom wise if you're having vaginal like if you're set on vaginal and you know you can do it which i know you can you know you can and god knows you can if, if it's in this will he will make a way okay but yeah if you plan on doing vaginal make sure you get postpartum underwear make sure you get the dermaplast Make sure you get um, the witch hazel pads. Make them cold. That definitely helps. Um, especially if you tear. Um, the dermaplast will definitely help that. Um, like when you pee. It will be smoother. Like it won't hurt. Um, I know for me personally. It didn't hurt. I did tear a little bit. But it still didn't hurt when I peed. So I don't know. Maybe that's just a me thing. Um, God is good. I got lucky. Um I did need stitches though, so I don't know why it didn't hurt, but look, listen, listen, God is good. But anyways, yeah, y'all. And um, like I said, again, the doctor, I keep, why do I keep saying the doctor, y'all? The hospital does give you those things. Now, if they don't have that in your bag, in your mommy bag, just in case, because you don't want to be, you know, struggling um while you're in the hospital um and don't have the stuff that you need or don't have it when you get home so yeah make sure you do that make sure you bring your own body wash um i would say bring your own washcloths and towels um me personally i'm kind of bougie with that stuff i don't like using other people's stuff um <laughs> it's unless i'm going to like somebody's house or something like my family members i mean i'll use their stuff but as a hospital i just i'm just scared like i don't know i don't i don't like using their stuff just because i don't know if they wash it good enough no shades at the hospital okay but anyways yeah y'all so <laughs> i'm gonna start rambling on um we're gonna do a video on what's in our hospital bags so stay tuned for that and yeah so right now i'm about to make Ari a bottle maybe i can finally get up my like i said i was having a real bad pelvic pain it hurts so bad but um y'all we need to take our tree down um i don't know why it's still up i think i said we was gonna take it down at the end of january i know y'all saw the little crumb my head it's okay um yeah i think i said we was gonna take it down at the end of january but i'm ready for it to go down now um but yeah oh let me show y'all what we got um the kids from walmart I'm saying the kids like he already here y'all but we just really got him a blanket he he really needed a blanket um y'all hear her crying she don't like to get um her clothes put on after she gets out the bath it's, it's it's okay bear with me bear with me anyways i got her some of these organic pouches she loves these things she holds them by herself eats them all by herself um it's very convenient um i got her this as well and i got her this one for like breakfast so yeah i think i showed y'all these i don't know but yeah i got her these um we got her this flavor as well because she runs out of the puffs really fast she was just eating some but um yeah that's basically it and then we got like some household stuff we got some dog food for the puppy um so yeah that's it but I'm about to make her a bottle and then see y'all after that. Alright y'all, so it is currently the next day. We forgot to end the video last night. We were like all over the place, cleaning up, tired, getting um, already ready for bed. I look terrible. This is my bedtime look. 
slash morning look, but it's okay. Mama! She's ignoring me, y'all. Mama! Come here, Mom. Say hi. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Say good morning, Dad. Good morning. Good. Good morning. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. She in a good mood this morning. She dancing for y'all and everything. Go, oh, baby. As y'all can see, I didn't get to um, braid her hair. Um, I know. I let her off the hook last night because she was pretty tired. And we were already cleaning up the stuff, so it was okay. But, um, yeah, so. Should we end the video? Yeah, we can, we can. Um, I just want to end it off by saying, you know, if you're a black owned business or know any, you know, black owned businesses or entrepreneurs or anything, man, make sure y'all comment down below so we can give y'all a shout out yes. at the end of each video. So that way, when more people come and watch, you know, they can see it and they'll go, it'll generate some traffic to you to your business and pages and stuff like that. So make sure y'all comment down below. But our shout out today is gonna be apparel, cause it's our business. Only because nobody um, commented their small business stuff. So. I know, tell them comment. Say comment. <laughs> Alright, so make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and again, um, sorry that we forgot to end up the video. Um, it's a part of being a parent. Sometimes you forget things, which is fine. A lot of things. Yeah. A lot of things. She's about to get in trouble because she loves to mess with these blinds. Sorry. But, um, yeah, make sure y'all share this with anybody. That you know and be like, go watch their video. Even if it's on some hate and stuff. Just be like, check their video out. Nah, we on some positive stuff all 2022. But, um, yeah, make sure you follow us on all social media sites. Um, that will be in the description box down below. Make sure y'all check out um, the Facebook group. If you're um, a business owner, the neighborhood is black. And make sure you check out Apparel, Shop the Brand. We have a lot of stuff on the way for that. What do you want to say, babe? We love y'all. So much. And, you know, always be ourselves. Don't try to be nobody else. But that will conclude this video because she is all... In the blast, I'm about to get her. It's and okay. You in trouble? No, let me stop. She need her diaper and stuff changed, so we'll see y'all. They take us out. All right, y'all.